Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you what to do if Sims 4 will not open on Windows and how to fix it in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to force the game to create a new mods folder. Now in order to do this, open up an instance of File Explorer, then head over to Documents on the left pane, afterwards expand Electronic Arts if you have it in here, then open up the Sims 4 folder, and what you have to do first of all is to copy the mods folder. So just click on it, copy it, and go back one step and just paste it in here. Now go back to the Sims 4 folder and simply delete the whole folder, so press Shift and Delete and delete this folder. Now the next thing you have to do is simply start the game. This will recreate a new mods folder and you can check if the problem still persists. But now if you want your mods back, make sure to head over to where you placed the copied mods folder, go inside of it and then simply copy the mods that you have in the folder. Now press back, now go back to Sims 4 and you'll see that a new mods folder will appear. Now in here just copy the contents that you had in the previous folder and then you can try the game. Moving on, another useful solution is to delete the origin cache files. Now to do this, open up an instance of File Explorer then head over to your C drive, afterwards scroll way down until you find the users folder, expand it, now click on your username and afterwards expand the app data folder. Now you have two places where the origin folder resides. First of all we will try the local and once you find the origin folder in here, simply delete it. So delete it, now go back and search as well the roaming folder. If you have the origin folder as well in here, simply delete it as well. Afterwards just restart your game and check if the problem still persists. Next in line another useful solution is to repair the game. So what you have to do is open the origin app then go to my game library and afterwards right click on the Sims 4 game and choose the repair option. Wait a bit until this will be fixed and then you can try to see if the problem still persists. Next in line you can also clean boot your computer. Now to do this press the windows button then type in ms config and select system configuration from the search results. In here click on the services tab and the first thing you have to do is tick the box next to hide all Microsoft services and then click on the disable all button. Now click on apply and ok to save the changes, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to deactivate origin in-game option. So open up origin and afterwards go to application settings and on the right side simply toggle off the origin in-game option. Now you can close this app, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course if this video helped you make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.